hello everyone so in this video we will see how to set the notification and clear the notification in the dynamic crm using the javascript or uh, resource web resource so we'll see that example of that so i have the entity application for this application entity i have filled called the student uh, i have filled on the student details tab first name here i want to do the validations and it should uh, this field should accept the uh, alphabetic value numeric value and the dash and the space if anything apart from that it has any value then it will throw the uh, it will show the uh, notification error here and if it is correct then it will show the uh, some warning information we can display here so i wanted to show you that example how to use the different uh, those three different types of notification that is information uh, then error and then warning i will show you that so first of all, uh, here um, already I have uh, written the JavaScript code here. Uh, let me walk you through that. So I have I am taking the namespace over here. I am setting the object for that. Then I am I am taking the another application then to the form. So this is my uh, root you can say uh, root uh, of the namespace. After that I have the methods. Uh, these methods is having the functions which is wrapped here inside the all all the functions which are uh, which will be returning from this return a statement it is wrapped on, on inside this method of uh, method namespace so to call the any any function then i have to use this uh, way that is this is the my uh, namespace name and then finally the function name what i want to call from this return statement so you can see in the return statement i'm 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 targeting this function here which is declared here and the defined and this function will be called with this namespace and so what this function is doing is it is taking one input parameter so let me uh, so it is taking one input parameter over here and uh, so that is form execution context and for this uh, uh, from context, I'm um, I'm taking the value from the first name. What what are the value is here inside this first name field? I'm taking that one, and then I'm 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 comparing with the pattern here, which is this pattern. In, this is the regular expression pattern, which uh, which uh, which you, which indicates. I mean, uh, which validates uh, whether the value is from A to Z, has small and capital. Then numeric value zero to nine. Then it will accept the dash here, a small dash, and the uh, space uh, space it will accept. So this is the validation of the uh, regular expression for the validation of the alphanumeric with the dash and the space, which will which we wa I want to be taken into this field here so this is how it is generated so after that i will test the pattern with the uh, value which i'll get from this uh, uh, field uh, first name field and then if it is true then i'm showing this message here first name has to be correct the first name is correct if it has any uh, any other value like like say uh, some special character then it will show the error so you can see here uh, when we use the form contacts dot ui dot set notification, it will expect the three parameter. One is the message you want to display here. Another is the information. Another is the uh, the ID of the notification. We, later on, you can use this ID to clear the notification. So here, if when it is for the error, then this is for the error. If it is uh, for the warning, then let me take that also here for the warning. So like take if the uh, let's before that. Let's take the uh, name and see first name uh, value. If it equals to say some some value like say it is warning, or uh, so we have given here inside that field, then it will it will display me the warning message a uh, warning notification there. So I'll copy this. In the first name value first name has warning value, and this will be of type warning. So we have three different types of uh, notifications. So info, warning, and the error. So already uh, all three I have taken. Let me save this, copy this, and already I have registered the you know the library over here inside my uh, solution. Already I have registered this library. So this is my library name, and uh, this library already I have registered. And inside that, what are the function is there? So already also that also I have registered here. So when you go to the form here and here the first name you can see the function already have registered and this function is calling uh, by this name the name which we have here this one you can see it, it is it will it is displaying that 
let me let it get open yeah you can see here so this is the uh, name of the method uh, which we have uh, given here the how it is calling and first parameter i'm taking as execution context okay and this is from this uh, wave resource which i have already registered so what i want to do i want to update this wave register right so i'll go here edit the library and i will copy this code over there okay okay now save publish it has been published now so i'll go to the my uh, student sorry application entity and i will create the new application i'll check the if it is working so here for the first name let me take some name say first name okay yeah one is coming correctly so sorry uh, the information you can see this uh, this symbol indicates for the information to check this warning message here uh, this one so i have to type this warning uh, word here right so i'll copy this so let me check if it is working yeah this is the warning this is coming fine if it is having any special character say like at the rate or has then it will give the error message you can error notification you can see this is the uh, error notification so this is how you can set now so now how to clear this uh, when everything is correct you can clear that so what i want to do is uh, for the key let me take some value here uh, here let me take else i will clear the notification here uh, i will take some value say let me show you the alert also um here yeah, so here we'll take if the um, so with that you can have the alert so i want to show you the how you can use the alert also so here if you check the first name if equals to say alert i when in, in enter the alert there so i want to pop up the that message so we have the uh, uh, xrm dot utility dot we have the alert dialog and here it will have the uh, one the message it will have the two parameter the message what you want to say so this is this is alert message this is alert message and here we'll have the callback function so when you click ok then you will have the callback function so you can you can do any operation so when the alert will come it will have only one button that is ok and on that if you want to call some function and some callback to be happen then you can use that function here so here you can write the callback function say I uh, on the top of that I want to alert the new things here and this is simple alert so this is okay callback okay and now if the you know, first name is equals to say confirm if I'll type the confirm here then I will I will display the confirm alert message so alert here and sorry so here it will be the xrm dot we have the utility dot then we have the alert uh, sorry confirm dialog confirm dialog so it will have the three parameters uh, so first one is the message so this is confirm dialog and here the will have the two buttons over here the ok and the cancel so for the ok means it is for true callback and the another is a false false callback so first one will be the true callback so here true callback and the last one will be the function that will be the uh, false callback you can write some statement inside that if you want uh, if, like as per your requirement if you have some uh, conditions like that on the click of ok if you want to perform some operations you want to call some wave resource you can do that one so here i want to display the alert so this is confirm ok and this is confirm cancel this is confirm cancel 
okay and on, along with that so as, I, as i was mentioning before so when we set the notification i want to clear that so here uh, after the alert has come i will i will do the uh, clearing the message here so we have the form context dot ui dot we have the clear notif clear form notification and here we have to give the notification id so this is the id which we have set here right so we'll uh, clear this notification so we'll give that uh, name here fine so this clear i will do for other type here say alert here i will give the clear and here also so fine so what i'm doing here is uh, since i want to show the uh, validations how 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 to, how to i want to show you how to how to use the notification so that is why i have taken this example so when in the first name uh, field when i enter the alert then i will get this alert dialog and then i it will clear the notification in the background and you will have the pop up of that now when we when i'll take the confirm there then i will have the confirm dialog coming up and then it will uh, if you click ok then it will clear the notification which i had so this is very simple so let me copy this code and update this uh, library over here so this is the library i can go to the text editor and then i can update here here it has opened and now here i will replace the code here okay and save and publish this code so it has been published i'll go to the my application here so click ok and i'll create the new application and to validate that so here inside the first name so when I'll take the alert here, alert text, so it will give me the alert message. So I will take the alert. You can see this is the alert message. So on the click of that, OK. So we can we can click that. OK, so it will give the notification. Since I don't have any notification over here. So yeah, OK, already I have one. So it will clear that one. So this is callback for the OK. And yeah, you can see the notification has gone. So when I click the confirm, sorry when i enter the confirm text here so it will have the confirm dialog so now i have the two button ok and the cancel and again i have the notifications it will clear that so click ok and this is ok confirm ok so click that and again the notification is gone so when we have some error here you can see this error and then you click the confirm go and ok so and confirm Here I want to change this to confirm and this is for the cancel. So you can see this is cancel confirm. OK, so this is how it is done. So now what I want is uh, when when we have some error here, then you cannot save the form, right? So like when we have incorrect, uh, you know, that there's some value, some improper values there in the field, then you will not allow to save the form, right? So for that, what we will do is uh, inside our JavaScript, uh, we'll take one global variable here. So that is is save that will be equals to the uh, true initially, okay. And every time when this function is called validations, I'll make this as a true. So is save equals to true. And let me whenever the uh, I have the error here, you can see this is the error notification. So when I have this error notification, I will set that to that is save to false. To false. So now I will write another function. Uh, which i will register on the uh, save event of the form so where save form okay that will be equals to the function and it will take the form execution context one parameter and i will get the event of the form so that is called the save form event and that will be from the form execution context dot get event arguments here so I will have the event arguments here. So what I'll do is I'll check if the save is save is false. So if it is false, that means we have to take exclamation mark. So if it is false, then I want to uh, 
prevent the save of the form. So it, we have the save form event dot prevent default. So prevent default is used to cancelling cancelling the form save event. So I will use the prevent default uh, means it will not allow to save until we have error. So let me save this. Done. So now uh, the another function which I'm going to register here is it will be for this event save event and the message I have to return. So okay, sorry I forgot to add here uh, this save form event here. So I have to add another function here. So it will be save. I have to return that save uh, function here, save form function, so that I can call that using the namespace and I can register that. So, okay, so now I have to update this. So, I'll copy this again. Okay, publish. Okay, now I have to uh, call this function on the save event. So, go to the my form editor here, over here uh, to my entity application form and main form here I have. On the main form, on the form properties, I will add the another function. So, already I have this library. So, I will just go to the form and on the save, I will register that. So, on the save, add the function. This is my library and this is my function name. That is save form and the execution context as a first parameter. So, okay, done. Now, save and publish this form again. Okay, so done. So now I'll refresh this page. I'm going to create the new application now. So I'll go to the application here and select the where application type new student and then applied here the some first name say Sandeep here and the last name take any Sharma. The date of birth I can take any and the some contact number and course applied for. Then I have country UK and then this is line one now save this so the uh, application is so application is uh, saved now uh, since uh, it was not having error so it it allowed me to save now let me check and i'll give some text here a special character which will give me the error now you can see i cannot save this it is you can see when i clicking the save nothing is happening it is preventing to do that so when i take some other other value like say uh, like 0 1 like that so since this is the warning uh, sorry this is the information so well, on that we have not making this as a uh, false here right we are making only when it is uh, true so like when it is error then only we are making as uh, to save to false so here that is why uh, when it is any number value when i'll save this so you can see it, it is it has been saved by default which is having uh, every 30 second uh, the dynamics will have the auto save which will save the record so it has been saved but with the special character it is not allowing to save you can see here i cannot save the record with this so this is how you can use uh, these notifications and the alert and you can use that one so i hope now you are aware of the how to use the notifications and dialogue in the dynamics with the javascript and thank you for watching this video guys